Here in Australia we've just come into winter and the temperatures have dropped dramatically so what I need more than anything else is a bit of warming comfort food. So today I'm going to show you an amazing recipe for the slow cooker, ridiculously easy to put together and guaranteed to please. Let's make my beautiful ultimate potato soup for the slow cooker on the One Pot Chef. Love a good potato soup when the weather turns cold and my ultimate potato soup done in the slow cooker is absolutely divine. Now we start out with obviously potatoes. I've got one kilo just over two pounds of potatoes. Now I'm not going to get into the specific variety of potatoes because there are more varieties of potatoes in the world than there are stars in the sky but just basically go for any regular potato that you would use for boiling or mashing. Either would be perfectly acceptable for this. Now all you need to do is give them a wash, then peel them and chop them up into small pieces. Basically when you're cooking vegetables in a slow cooker you want to get them nice and small pieces, roughly the same size but you don't have to be too pedantic about it. We do that because if you've got some bits that are small and some bits that are huge what happens is the small bits will cook quicker than the big bits and so we get to the end of the cooking time and the big bits haven't cooked properly so ultimately you want to try and make it as even as possible so they will cook as evenly as possible. Now to that we're going to add in one onion which I've just finely chopped. I used a white onion today but feel free to use a brown or yellow onion as long as it's chopped up small and gives that lovely sort of savoury flavour to it. And speaking of savoury, I'm also going to add in some garlic. I'm putting in about two cloves of fresh garlic, which is just chopped or minced up. And by fresh, I mean out of a jar because I can't be bothered today. It's winter. I don't want to chop things too much. <laughs> I'm also adding in a little bit of butter as well. I'm putting in, I haven't really measured it, about a couple of tablespoons roughly. I just chopped a little bit off the block of butter. And I'm also going to season this with some salt and some black pepper. And last but not least I'm going to add in some chicken stock or chicken broth. Now you don't have to use chicken, you can use beef, you could use vegetable, whichever you like. I like chicken because it's kind of sort of goes with everything pretty much. So we're putting in four cups, one litre, and we're just going to pour that straight in. And for the moment that's all we have to do. So we're going to pop the lid on and we're going to switch the slow cooker on. You can either use the low or high setting. We're going to cook for either three to four hours on high or about six to eight hours on low. Now it doesn't matter which one you do, it's basically the speed of how it cooks. So whichever one you prefer to use, just go ahead and do it. While our soup is cooking away in the slow cooker, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Ah, time's up, so let's take this lid off. Ooh, let that steam out a bit there. Just give that a quick stir. Oh yes, these potatoes are lovely and tender. Just See that they squish nice and easily. Now, in order to make this into a nice smooth soup, we're going to blend everything up. Now, you can use a traditional blender and you can just scoop the soup out in portions, blend it up until it's all blended, or you can use an immersion blender, sometimes called a stick blender or a slender blender. This is my mum's traditional. 1980s stick blender still works like a charm and I'm literally just going to blend this in the pot so I just put it in and I'm just going to hit the trigger and start blending this up until it's lovely and smooth. Lovely oh that's looking good already excellent. You see how lovely and thick and creamy that is now this is absolutely perfect and ready to eat just as is and it's a totally acceptable regular potato soup but I'm not looking to do regular potato soup I'm doing ultimate potato soup and so we're gonna have to add a couple of extra things. First I'm gonna add in two cups of grated cheddar cheese or any 
grated cheese you happen to like. And I'm also adding in half a packet, about 125 grams, of Philadelphia style cream cheese. This is going to help make this extra creamy, extra cheesy, absolutely delicious. Now make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature because I don't want to shock the soup and make something cold go into something hot. So we're just going to make sure it's at room temperature before we put it in. Take it out of the fridge about half an hour before you put it in and just give it a quick stir. And then we're going to turn the pot down to the low setting and then pop the lid on and we're going to let this cook for another half an hour and then we'll be ready to serve. Half an hour later and that's looking absolutely gorgeous, velvety smooth, beautiful and creamy. I cannot wait to have a taste of this. And just top the soup with a bit more grated cheese. I also crisped up some bacon in a fry pan and some freshly chopped spring onion. Rich, creamy and cheesy, this beautiful ultimate potato soup made in the slow cooker is guaranteed to warm you up when temperatures drop and it's absolutely addictive. Oh, I wish you could smell this through the camera. It is so good. Okay, I'm going to dive in. It is still ridiculously hot, but I'm going to... Oh, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to pick this up. Okay. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Oh my God. <laughs> so rich and cheesy. Yum. Mmm. That's absolutely to die for. <laughs> Thanks to the blending, the potato has become lovely and rich and creamy and smooth. The garlic and the onion have really added a lot of extra herby flavour to it. And of course the cheeses, the cream cheese and the cheddar cheese have melted beautifully into this soup to make this cheesy, potatoey, starchy goodness that I guarantee you are going to absolutely love. And of course the toppings on top just take it to the next level. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. The great thing about this soup is it's really easy to adapt. You can add all sorts of extra herbs and spices to it. If you wanted to add some chili and make it a bit more hot and fiery, you can do that. You can give it a bit of a smoky flavor by adding some smoked paprika. And you can change the toppings up as well. You can add whatever you like to it. This is really a great base recipe that can be adapted to so many different things. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a try and let me know in the comments how you'd adapt this soup. And what's your favorite toppings?